ex-Bush ethics lawyer to run for Senate as a Democrat in Minnesota. I just retweeted this. This is about Richard Painter. For those of you guys that don't know who Richard Painter is, Richard Painter was the ethics lawyer for the Bush administration. Ever since then, he's become a, a hero of the corporate- is there anything better? God, fucking CNN, they're stupid. Ah. All right. So Richard Painter is a Republican. He is a He is a Republican. He was in an ethics lawyer for the Bush administration and uh Russ, Jimmy does the better Richard Painter impression than I do, but I'll I'll do mine. All right, so Richard Painter, here's who Richard Painter was. He goes on MSNBC and he talks like this. He talks like he talks like Popeye the Sailor Man meets uh, Popeye the Sailor Man meets, uh, I don't know, some kind of warmonger. But he talks like that. And he says, oh, we would never do this over on the Trump campaign. We would never do this. We would never do it, even though we're war criminals and we endorsed an illegal war. Illegal war. But we would never do that. We would never say something rude. At whatever, blah, blah, whatever, whatever the new Trump, uh, whatever the new clickbait Trump soundbite is, they get Richard Painter on to talk about that. And he talks about how the Bush administration would never do such a thing. And then like brainwashed idiots, people on the quote unquote left um, talk about how, oh, well, that's, we miss George Bush. We yearn for those days. Yeah, he's a war criminal. Okay. He's a war criminal. All right, someone someone calls it Popeye meets Daddy Warbucks. Um, Richard Painter holds the Guinness record for longest scowl. I think that's very possible. Um, I didn't vote in the primaries. What is your advice on who to vote for if there is no real progressive movement here? Ruben, where is here? Um, I I bet there is somebody running, and and you just gotta you gotta try to find that person. Um. So, uh, yeah, let me know where here is. And there's some resources out there. Lucy's, Lucy's into this, man. Lucy's into this. Um, so, Richard Painter is now running for Senate in Minnesota as a Democrat. Former White House ethics lawyer for President George W. Bush, who's a prominent critic of President Trump. That's all he has. Underline, that's all he has. So what this proves, Richard Painter running for uh, Trump, he's been, ex this is according to the article, he's been extremely vocal about his objections to Trump and the current state of a Republican party. Richard Painter, I challenge you, how is Trump's Republican party any different than Bush's Republican party? I know they're less subtle, that's it. Trump's policies are repulsive. Trump is repulsive. But he's not repulsive because he talks meaner. He's repulsive because he's a Republican. And he has Republican policies. That aren't much different than most Democrat policies. Because you know how many Democratic policies exist? Zero. Zero. And this guy's running. So, and this proves my point, by the way, because the fact that Richard Painter is running for a Democrat, a war criminal who aided the Bush administration, this proves the only qualification you need to be a Democrat, the only one, don't like Trump. That is it. That is it. This is the pent ultimate or, or the ultimate point. That the only qualification for a government for a Democrat. What's his platform like? I wonder if it tells us. Oh, here's his here's his bullshit um, announcement, by the way. The Republican Party insists that one must be loyal to Trump and his corrupt administration to run for federal office. My loyalties are to the United States of America. 
And I will make my message to the Republican Party very clear. I quit. Given these undeniable facts, I cannot in good conscience continue to align with my uh, today's Republican Party. He said nothing about policy. Nothing about policy. He just doesn't like Trump. Trump's mean. Nothing about policy. And it was pretty easy for him to go over the Democratic side of things because policy-wise, what's the difference? Republicans don't want single-payer health care, neither do Democrats. Republicans want to continue fracking, so do Democrats. Republicans are against living wages, so are Democrats. They say they'd be okay with the idea of it, but they're not for it. Ruben, you live in Idaho. Yeah, you just got to dig deep in your district. Um, see if there's any... I would look and see if there's any Green Party candidates or progressives running as independents or Justice Democrats trying to infiltrate the party from the inside and uh, consider supporting one of them if you like their platform. And Edwin recommends checking out North Idaho Progressives. That's a good group. That would be a good uh, resource for you. Balthazar points out, I live in Colorado 3. There's a conservative clown in the current seat, but his, his progressive competition is a mealy mouth, no name policy, uh, policies touts Ken Salad Bar's uh, endorsement mixed bag. And hey, you know what, guys? Honestly, and, and uh, I mean this very sincerely, if there is no progressive uh, option where you're at and you live in a rural area especially, throw your hat in the ring if you're able to. Try running, you know? I mean, I know it's easier, easier said than done, but why not? Throw your hat in the ring if you can. I know not everyone can, and that's totally understandable. But, um, you know, if you're able to. Um, if you're able to, you certainly should. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer-curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.